Hello. Uh, just realised I was talking to myself there. So, hello everyone. <laughs> I have my microphone open. Um, yes, there we go. Uh, having a few games against 12 team here. He's not sticking around long. Um, so we're playing a little bit of 3 plus 2. This is going to be the time uh, control for the Crazy House World Championship. Um, so it's not bad to get a little bit of practice with this time control. Uh, we normally play one minute. Um, yeah, so I thought it's worthwhile saying uh, in not too long, uh, probably thinking about 30 hours, we've got a 24-hour Crazy House tournament taking place. Um, very excited about that, so I will be participating in that as much as I can, as much as time allows, and for every minute that I do get to stream of the 24-hour event, I will be, um, for every minute I get to play, I'll be, I'll be putting it on stream, so looking forward to that. So if you want to join, let me just uh, find out the link for that. Um, yes, I mean, Opal Wizard let me know about it, so it's it's here, uh, leeches.org tournament, um, there's a link. Um, it's happening. I've already put my name down that I'm going to participate. So it's it's happening uh, March 31st, 2018. It's 9 p.m. in Sydney time. So I mean that'll be that'll be different wherever you are. But uh, look forward to seeing you all there. Um, Okay, so what's going on here? I've picked up uh, a rook here, also picked up a pawn. Um, so I have, I have, uh, in terms of development, uh, my, my pieces are a little bit better organised. Um, but he's trying to break free here, unravel his pieces. So I, th I think I'll just castle here. I'll. I don't mind if the pawn drops, I'll get rook at d8. Um, it may not be anything special to begin with, but it, it's certainly progress. Because um, otherwise his knight gets free development coming out this way. So now he's, he's moved his knight, I'll, I'll bring my knight in. Um, he's got the check there. Um, Alright, well, we'll go to the beach soon. Um, yes. I'm so tired of waiting. Yeah, we're not going right now. Mm. <laughs> Come on, you, you keep watching your stuff in the room. I'm so tired. All right, Belle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Swall19 says, Hey, John Lee, saw you play regular Blitz for the first time. It was strange to see. Yes, I did play some regular Blitz on the channel. What's up, Belle? <laughs> You're tired of waiting. Come on, mummy's having a shower, and then as soon as mummy's done in the shower, then we'll we'll uh, be able to go to the beach. All right. For now, you just got to hold on. So we've promised with the nice weather here in Sydney that we'll take my daughter to the beach, but uh, she's not patient. Is not patience is not her strong suit. I'm just going to say that. Okay, this is just tough, tough situation for Black and hard, hard to generate counterplay. But, right, he's gonna, he's gonna try. So I'm just gonna cut off H3, really make it so that that doesn't come back. He's trying to restrict the pawns here. I think I'll just pick off material.
Yeah, I can't I can't get him quickly, so I have to get him slowly. That's that's it. All right. Book the win there. So yeah, for those of us used to playing you know, a lot of 1.0, uh, I think you've got to adjust to the increment coming here, and it it changes, you know, the the quality of play um, from the opponents can increase significantly, and also, you know, uh, it it's nice to take that flag element out um, and and play the positions through. Um, but if you're if you're too used to one minute, um, sometimes when the the, the time gets low. Um, you, if you're in the practical headspace, you forget to actually take your time and, and play good moves, and um, that can be costly. So, Okay, how do we go about this? We can take multiple times here, or... We can, so I could play like a pawn at g4 if he recaptures. Or I could go for something else. Could be knight takes d4. There's options here. Um, we may even take this first and then pawn a g4 would play. So I'm not sure what he wants to do with this diagonal. Um, Okay, can turn sharp quite quickly. If knight takes, 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 pawn at g6, pawn at, pawn at e6, takes, takes, pawn at g6, back. I feel like white gets a lot of an issue for free. If I take here, he can take this. So pawn at g4, here, here. I think I prefer that one. So we'll go, we'll go for pawn at g4. So yeah, is anyone is anyone in the uh, the uh, the chat thinking of joining the um, 24 hour request? 24 not 24 hour request, 24 hour tournament. My brain's not working. I've had too many nights without enough sleep. I think that's a trouble. Okay, pawn h7 coming. Does a rook belong on e7 or f8? That's a question. I think it belongs on e7. It's it's not bad having a bit of defense here. Pawn h7, king across, knight f7, takes, takes, king takes. That's just one progression. There's there's a lot of sharp lines. Kyle Legion, are you playing on the whole thing? No, I, I'm human, so I need to sleep. Um, I don't know how many hours out of 24 I'll get to play, but uh, I'm considering... If I could get something like 12 hours, that'd be pretty awesome. But I, I don't know if I'll get 12 hours. I've, I've also got to got to work around family things. But uh, in terms of timing for me, I mean, we've got a four-day weekend here in uh, Australia, so um, the timing couldn't be better. It's like uh, between the Saturday Saturday 9 p.m. to Sunday 9 p.m. for me, and I've got Friday and Monday off. So um, yeah, I can ruin my sleep pattern a little bit. Um, okay, uh, well, I want to keep this knight, uh, I think he's going to possibly try to show up that I've put the rook in the wrong place. Very sharp. Um, uh, 
Okay, let's let's see a bit deeper here. Let's think about this. So calculation I'm looking at is takes, takes, bishop c5, takes, takes, queen takes, knight takes, queen at f8, bishop at g8, takes, knight takes. The knight at f7 is not mate, I'm threatening fg2. But I feel like I'm, I'm missing something here. You know what, I'm, I'm going to go for it. Because the knight also covers f7, so unless he's got a queen g7 trick, but then g6 isn't covered, so my king can run there. So I, I picked up some material here. If he doesn't have mate, then I'll have him. So he can make f8 queen. Yeah, he hasn't done f8 queen, so I think I'll use bishop. The rook covers g7 like I planned. I mean, f7 is covered, so I can take, take, pawn at h7, king h8. So I, I don't see it if there's if I've missed something. But you might just play queen, queen f3 to get some safety, and then the game goes on. Um, so as expected, now here I've, I've got to have an effective move. The Rossi's just going to counter. So, this is my problem here now that yeah, he can play bishop h6. I've put this here, so I'm trying to distract the queen off g2. Yeah, that's not unexpected that he's played this move. So maybe now I'll play pony two again. This isn't easy. Yeah, he's played correctly here. I, I don't think I have though. Um, it's possibly a mate now. He's just he's just gonna yeah keep it such that I don't have I don't have a mating attack. I think I think I was good back here, but he he found a good way of defending. Queen takes f3. Okay. Yeah, let's let's see. I think white's good after queen takes f3. I mean, may maybe not better, but safe at least. So I've I've got this extra piece, but then I can't actually can't actually do too much with it. Maybe I shouldn't uh, stop for knight takes h6. That's actually wasting some time. I might need to just continue with pawn at e2 here. That's probably the sharpest. Yeah, but even then, pawn e2, rook f2. You can make a queen. I think yeah, the idea is taking here and being able to place a knight to hit queen on f2. But it's a whole game still. There's still a lot to play. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just happy I, I at least saw the calculation from back here that it's it's okay to open up the position. That's not horrible. Alright, anyway, let's go find some more games to play. Um, high contrast. Do you want to join in? Let's see. So I'm playing a bit of 3 plus 2 here, um, just because 
that's going to be the time format for Crazy House World Championship. Um, I think it's. I think though, honestly, with the format, I'm probably. Uh, I mean, I, I'm basically just waiting at, at the the final stage. Uh, for the winner of the candidates event, but I, I should probably make another video to kind of showcase the new format this year, which I think is really good for the players. Um, it's now a double elimination knockout, which basically means it's it's like a knockout format, but you get uh, you get two chances to lose. Um, our target GM just wanted to have a go as well. All right. <laughs> So I can I can talk to high contrast. He says, "Watch out! I'm watching the stream. That's all good." All right. So what I'm thinking here is my opponent should play Bishop A6. That's a very strong move. Ah, uh, he didn't play it. Um, maybe here Bishop E6, giving away a piece with conf compensation. Just just mucking around with my opponent. So um, yeah, high contrast came to visit us uh, in Sydney. Uh, it's probably just last year. Um, we had some great fun playing some Bug House. Um, I am Bugzilla. You may know Master Tan as well. Also Mugwort, and myself. Um, just booked out, booked out a place for a day and did nothing but Bug House. Um, there are some videos on my uh, YouTube channel of, of that. Um, and uh, yeah, it was very nice of High Contrast to come along and, and uh, initiate. Um, that little gathering. Um, otherwise, we probably don't uh, don't get together ourselves here in Australia. All right. Um, so knight at e7 here just played to cover g6 because one of the natural moves in the position is to take here and play pawn at g6. So my opponents decided to sacrifice to get something going. Gotta figure out what to do against this. Maybe I should play knight g4, maybe I should just take it. Uh, I think I should just take it. So a lot of pressure here on f7. Uh, you could cover it with pawn at e6 or bishop at e8. Um, pawn e6. Yeah, it runs into pawn at f5, which which may be okay. Let's let's see. So so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be defending for nearly the rest of the game here. It feels like, and uh, all all I have to show for it is that I've got a piece for a pawn. And so I may get a residual advantage at the end of it if we can survive. Okay. So if I take this knight f7, that doesn't look like much fun. This is still falling. Can I do something like knight takes pawn at d5? Knight takes, takes. This is not easy. Um, I'm gonna go for this option. I, I'm basically feeling here like he's, he's got four pieces on this, right? And I've got two. So I can't add another defender to that. I'm just gonna lose that ground anyway. If I take here, I, I didn't feel comfortable with this. Maybe I can play King G7. Um, so I'm kind of saying here, well, I'm going to have to concede I'm probably going to lose these squares and some pawns, so maybe I can get some material back instead. And if he doesn't take it, then um, yeah, we've still got bishop f5, That's that may be another game. Yeah, it's interesting. We'll, we'll see what he wants to do with, with this position. Um, he's going to do the capture. 
so I, I have to take the coin then, or else what am I doing this for? So I'm expecting a capture here, and then king g7. And I like white here. I like white. Um, but I, I'll, I'll still have players black, but uh, I think white's, white's got the initiative here. White's got the upper hand. So he's not captured this first, so maybe he just wants to leave it so the bishops can open up. Uh, maybe he also wants to be able to hit the dark squares. So I, I think I'll, I'll bring this knight in here. I'm going to leave leave this. This one I'll capture. And so I'm I'm just trying to generate some own threats, some of my own threats. Knight at h3, maybe something's gonna happen. Um I wasn't keen on losing the queen, so um if if I'd played Queen E eight instead, then I think white's just covering too much here. So don't mind white taking my light squares, but now, now the dark squares are, are a different question. Okay, king h1. Queen, queen h8 looks natural. I don't have many options here. I'm all, I don't have pawns to place or anything, so I've, I've got to make Make it happen. So this is now still hanging. Um, I don't want to put the knight on g4 yet, so maybe it's knight g6. Just need to be careful of what it means if he's got the knight in hand. Alright, but he's missed queen takes h2, so this is a this is a clear mate. <laughs> she said, damn. Um, in person, I think High Card Trust would actually say, ah, no, no, ah. We had a lot of those moments uh, when he played Bug House in Sydney. All right, this will be interesting. We'll, we'll see if we uh, get the same opening. What's up, Bill? Oh, cool. You got your swimmers on. All right, that's good. Can you just wait for mum, please? Thanks. All right. Okay, why not? Um, I just played this as black, but I'll I'll play it as white now. Let's see if uh, let's see if we get the same outcome or a different outcome. So we could capture c5 straight away. I might I might actually play c3 first. Mm, is it worth it. Yeah, okay, we'll play c3. So bishop at b3 would play for the same idea, but I'm, I'm just going to play bishop at e2. I'll do something quite different. Okay, who's, who's going to join in in the 24-hour uh, event tomorrow? Or was it tomorrow? Pretty much tomorrow. Depends what part of the world you're in. It's in, it's in about... Uh, 30 hours, who's going to play? Um, 
I'm, I'm certainly looking forward to it. Bishop d5. Alright, bishop d5. Chat responds with silence. So I guess I guess no one's participating in the 24-hour tournament then. All right, that's fine. Okay, so yeah, I'm looking at this. Knight takes e5, take take, knight takes, and then I get the first first move after the materials all balanced out. So. I sense white's probably slightly better here, but how to proceed? So I do like white here. So we could we could play like bishop at e4. Hey, Bell. Or bishop at f3, maybe. Hey, you should get changed. Yeah. No, I'm already changed, Bell. Stop bugging me. No. Alright, and don't hit your dad. <laughs> Leave me alone, I'm streaming. Don't hit me. Oh dear. I'm already losing her. Okay. Cut it out. <laughs> Cut it out. Oi. Alright, I jump quite contrast. Yes, Bill, distract him. Um, all good fun. No, don't tell her to hit me hard. That's not nice. Alright, well... Because you're telling her to hit me hard, I'm going to hit you hard. Um, pawn of g6. So just really hitting light squares. Okay. Kyle, Gary say they're probably going to play. Um, uh, there's a delay I'm going to watch instead of play. I'll probably end up... Uh, Antique says I'll probably end up giving up just after a couple though. Belle, <laughs> stop bugging me. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to <laughs> tackle my daughter there so she doesn't bother me. Um, no, cut it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, at least high contrast is thinking here. Okay, he's covering up some lights. Well. It's not funny. It's not funny. No, you're not funny, Bill. Stop it. <laughs> 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 Alright. How do I want to continue this? Oh, I have a combination that nearly works. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll do it. Um, Bella's stolen some of my time here, so i just got to make do with what i got. Hey! I'll get you! <laughs> stop it! Seriously, stop. Yeah, no, just wait, Bell. <laughs> hey, cut it out, cut it out. No, the channel's had enough of you. Stop it. <laughs> you just meant to. You just meant to come on once in a while, not disrupt the whole stream. I got you. <laughs> so cheeky. All right. Bishop at f6. Okay. So he's, he's defending. Uh, I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna play instinctively here. I, ow! Cut it out, Bell. Just stop. Um. Apologies for my chair rotating um, yeah. against my will, but 
Uh, maybe that goes here. I think it doesn't really matter. A queen h5 is going to just cut off everything. So yeah, h7 or h8 didn't really... I thought maybe I needed bishop h7 in some lines, but queen h5 is too strong. Well, alright, you want to sit here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. High contrast says, uh, okay. By contrast, his mother-in-law just came. Um, he just has to say hi. We're going to the beach. Yes, Belle, we're going to the beach. Oh, we're going to the beach. Oh, oh. <sighs> All right. This is a little girl <laughs> disrupting the stream. <laughs> this is Bella. <laughs> and the whole world is going to know you as a troublemaker. Okay, troublemaker. That's who this is. Troublemaker. <laughs> Troublemaker. Troublemaker. Alright. Now, you stay put. Okay. Alright, I think we're nearly ready to go. Wait, wait, wait. You nearly ready, you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I might end the stream then. Hey, look. Funny. You are being funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're due to leave soon anyway, so I'm I'm gonna cut the stream there. So just a short stream, just a bit of fun. Um, yeah. Go check it out. 24-hour tournament um, happening. <laughs> Within in about 24 hours, so uh, three plus zero crazy house for 24 hours. I'll be um, playing as much of that as I can and streaming uh, every minute that I play with that. So I will see you next time, hopefully with uh, less interruptions. So take care, everyone.